Hey, how's it going? Today we are solving leak code number 1,343, number of subarrays of size k and average greater than or equal to the threshold. This is one of those problems whose name basically gives you a very good hint as to what to do. We're given an array of positive numbers and we are also given two other parameters, which is k and uh, threshold. So k is the length of the subarray that we want to count. And the threshold is basically the threshold whose average should be greater than or equal to. So if k is 3 and threshold is 4, we're looking for the number of subarrays whose average is greater than or equal to 4, but the length of that subarray also has to be equal to k. So this is a standard sliding window problem. We're going to introduce a right pointer and a left pointer at the beginning of the array. And then we're going to say, uh, we're going to say while r is less than r arr dot length. Remember arr dot length is the total number of elements within the array. And r is essentially just an index that will move across the array and reference each element, but it will it will not ever touch the uh, total number of, um, r will never be, let's say in an array of, uh, you know, 10 elements, we want the maximum and the maximum index would essentially be nine. So r will be nine. It will never be 10 because that index doesn't exist. Um, and so uh, we can also introduce a uh, double sum equals zero. So I'm saying double sum equals zero because what I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially build the sum up. So uh, it's going to be sum equals sum plus nums of or ARR array of what the right is pointing to. So as this, as we iterate through, um, this R uh, pointer, which is the right pointer, will gradually move to the right um, each time by um, by essentially adding itself um, to what is followed. So it's building a sum. And of course, if it's building the sum, we have to allow R to essentially move down the array. So it had we want to do R plus uh, plus. And then as we uh, move forward here, uh, in the middle of building the sum and moving R up, we're going to have to catch a particular case. And that case is uh, if the length of the subarray is equal to K, we want to essentially do something right before we exceed that length. Um, so what we're going to do in this case is, OK, well, how do we find the length? We know that we want to do something if the length is equal to K, but how do we actually find the length? So it length is equal to, so the length of a, a given subarray, like let's say one pointer, let's say R is here and left is here or actually uh, k is equal to three. So r is here and, um, uh, or r is here and l is here. If you do um, r minus l plus one, r zero, one, two, two minus zero plus one is three, it will give you the length of the subarray. So that's the idea if, um, and this works if, if, if the indices are placed anywhere, the difference between them plus one will give you the length of the subarray. So R minus L uh, plus one will be the length of the subarray. And um, and then if the length is equal to K, well, uh, we know that we want to check another condition. So the other condition is that if the average is greater than or equal to the threshold. So in, in that case, we actually have to figure out what the average is. So the average will just be the sum so far divided by K. And if that average is greater than the threshold or equal to the threshold as the question specifies, then we are going to count this array as a valid solution. So we'll say count is equal to zero uh, initially, and then we'll accumulate count as we move through. So count uh, plus plus. Um, so just to recap, int r is equal to zero, int l is equal to zero, they both start at the beginning. The sum is essentially defaulted to zero, which is a double, since we want to find the average. And then int count is zero, um, since in the beginning we don't have any valid solutions. So uh, as r moves across the length of the array, not touching the total number of elements, just the to it will touch every element, just it will not be um, one more than the maximum index. And then sum is equal to sum plus ARR of R. So it's building the sum. And then eventually it also does R plus plus, 
But before we do that, we want to calculate what the length is before we move r plus plus up, um, or before we move r up. And then since the length uh, the length is given by r minus l plus one, and then if that length is ever k, we calculate what the average is. We check if that average is greater than the threshold. If it is, we increment count by one. Um, but after it being equal to k, should we move r up? Uh, actually, we so let's say you know k is three here, so r is here and L is um, L is here. Um, we want to check subarrays of size three only, correct? So in order to do that, we um, if we move R up, then suddenly we're checking a uh, subarray of size four. In order to avoid doing that, what we're going to do here is we're going to actually move L up and eliminate uh, and take that amount away from the sum. So so what I mean is. We'll say, okay, sum is equal to sum minus what L is pointing to. So right now, you know, we're looking at an array of three. Um, but now we want to start looking at this array, right? So we don't want R to move up and then suddenly add one more element. Um, so here we are right now. Sum is equal to sum minus the element that the left is pointing to. Um, so sum is equal to sum minus um, L, right? So we've so our sum now doesn't have what uh, doesn't have two anymore. It's only four, um, and so we're going to subtract. And now we're going to move L up. So we're just going to say you know L plus plus, and um, and then after we do that, um, you know we're only looking at this as a subarray, and then we move right up eventually, uh, and so we essentially capture this entire subarray, which is another subarray of length three. And so it, it, it constantly does that, um, only looking at arrays of length three. And then, of course, we will return count. And of course, we should probably be more aware of the fact that this is not nums we're referring to. It's actually uh, ARR. Um, so um, that's array, short for array. And that should be the answer here.